Time now to talk about the uh, Nuclear uh, Accident Committee. Ray, welcome. Thanks. Thanks for joining us today. So talk us through the Nuclear Accident Committee. How did it come about? What did it do? We formed it after 9-11. Um, and we formed it because we've got a unique resource. We've got over 500 bone marrow transplant centres, but in that there are about 3,000 hematoma oncologists who treat the sort of problems that you would have if you were irradiated every day. Right. And we know inevitably if there is a huge radiation incident, say three to 4,000 victims, we know inevitably those patients would very quickly indeed end up in our centres. So the idea is, educate and coordinate. And how does the committee work? How does it operate? It's a virtual committee, except when something happens. Uh, we've got members, not just EBMT members, but we've got ministry members, we've got armed forces members, uh, we're coordinated with the WHO and the AAEA, and, and what happens is that this virtual group can be mobilised very quickly. So with Fukushima, within 48 hours, we had up and running all the centres that were geared to take anything that was needed, and we were in Japan within two weeks troubleshooting how we could go forward. Now, today you're uh, bringing out, you're launching your uh, guide, your car there. Talk us through that. Yes, this is this is an original idea. What we thought was there's such a huge amount on our website and other websites about how you handle things. But in, if an event occurs, even if people have been trained, because it's not happening every day, they want an aid memoir that suddenly and quickly, within minutes, can refresh them. So we produced a so-called pocket guide, and we produced that in 2005. We had a meeting in October, and we had about 15 key players, again, not particularly transplanters, but ministry people, scientists and so on, and we updated it. Right? We've launched it today, but crucially, we're now going to start translating it into other languages. So the first thing which we will do today, and we've already done the preparation for it, is get it into Japanese, and then we'll run down the various countries, Spanish, etc. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. We really appreciate that, and, and best of luck with the, the <laughs> Thank you very thank much. You.